These days, everyone and his dog has an action camera, and they're getting easier and easier to use. There are pitfalls though, so here's our top five mistakes you'll want to avoid. If you just want to record your commute for shaming dangerous road users, then do whatever works. If sick edits are your thing, then you're going to want a few different angles to keep things interesting. Invest in some mounts and spend time finding out what works for the riding you do. Handlebar and helmet mounts could result in a boring, shaky or slow looking account of your epic riding skills. We'd recommend a chest mount for nearly any rider and being able to attach your camera to different parts of your frame is really important too. Rain, mud and wildlife droppings have featured in more action camera shots than your distorted, confused face has, with the main difference being that once they're there, they usually stick around and ruin the whole shot. A tiny spot of the stuff on the right part of the lens can translate into a huge area of the final image, so it's critical that you check and clean as often as possible. If it's just rain, then we'd recommend giving the lens a lick to get it clean. If there's stuff you don't want to lick, then a quick wipe of the jersey should get the job done too. If you haven't bought your camera yet, then prepare to be confronted with a lifetime's worth of hyperbole, buzzwords and outright lies. Mainly, you're going to hear about resolution. But the fact is, there are 4K cameras out there that put out far worse footage than some older 1080p models. That's because resolution may be the easiest thing to market a product on, but it's not the most important when it comes to picking a camera. That'll depend on how, where and when you're riding. The sensor if it's dark, the processor if it's shaky, the battery life if it's cold, the lens if it's slow and detailed, but almost never the resolution. Action cameras have tiny lenses, which means they can't gather as much light per second as a bigger camera. Instead, they'll achieve a correct exposure by either boosting sensor sensitivity or slowing down the shutter speed. A slower shutter will blur fast motion and more sensitivity will increase noise. Neither of these is a good thing. If you already have your camera set up sensibly, then the only solution to excessive noise or blurring is to try and spend as much time as possible in good light. Speaking of camera setup, here's a mistake you absolutely need to avoid. Your action camera can probably shoot high frame rate video, by which we mean anything above 30 frames per second, to allow for slow-mo playback. But the last thing you want to do is set and forget. Firstly, you'll chew through more memory space, but that's a minor problem compared with the extra sensor noise you'll end up with. Higher frame rate means faster shutter speed, so unless you're riding in great light, your camera is going to have to crank its gain right off the scale or just underexpose everything. As before, neither of these is a good thing. Some cameras have auto low light modes to throttle down the frame rate in the dark, but we reckon you're better off just thinking ahead and setting your frame rate manually. High if there's plenty of light and you might want some slow-mo, 30 frames per second the rest of the time.